Happy sunshine, family. Lunacy's back. Bedhead and all. We're getting some more videos done while we can. Uh, this will be part four. I'm just going to touch up uh, on the last video where I left off uh, with Annex A. There's really not a whole lot that I have to add, uh, even though we're on page 8 of 21 here. I've already got a video reading through <clears throat> excuse me, all of this text here. This is the document 98. This is the big price of pay that Heather issued uh, going into the trial phase. And it was directed towards the clerk of courts, Deborah C. Poplin, the district judge, Thomas A. Varlin, the magistrate, Judge C. Clifford Shirley Jr., and the United States attorney, James Douglas Overby, who replaced Nancy Stollard Haar. Also, Cynthia Davidson and Anne Marie Sfalto. Uh, I'll leave a link down below in the show more section. Uh, for the video that I did where I actually read through all of the verbiage that, that Heather wrote in this precipe. Um, right now, just note that all of these pages have handwritten in pencil, uh, Annex A, uh, a page number, and the date, Hat J's initials, and then uh, a fingerprint or thumbprint. And then there's some proofs of service. Uh, well, here's, here's also her judgment and order of dismissal. That was added on as well. And these were stricken from the record. Uh, the jury was not allowed to use these to even get an idea of the bigger picture that's going on here. All right, just because Heather wrote this. Uh, now, this is with golf pencil. And while I've got her golf pencil up on the screen, I want to read to you an email. And Sheila told me it was golf pencil. And now this email comes from BZ. She's also mentioning golf pencils. And, and so <clears throat> everybody can just look at this right here, this sheet of paper and you can visualize Heather Antucci giraffe inside a cell I don't I don't know what size her cell is but I know the the cells that I've seen are are not very big at all enough for a very thin bed a very small table and you got a toilet that's got a sink built into the where the tank normally is. And that's basically it. You got a light that is flush to the wall. It doesn't protrude out. It's just a, like a little window that's behind it's a, a light bulb. And that's your cell. And pretty much everything's made out of concrete and steel. And she's sitting at a, at a small little table. It might be a little metal table with sheets of paper and a little golf pencil. And we've got a woman. She's been through college. She's been through law school. She's worked at the highest levels of... Well, I don't know if the highest levels, but she's worked deep within the banking and legal finance systems. And she is stuck in a tiny little room, probably with at least one other person. And she is scribbling all of this with a golf pencil that she doesn't even have a pencil sharpener for most of the time. So here's what BZ says in an email. Hi Danny, I wanted to mention two quick things in reference to questions you posed in the first three of your new vids on the new documents filed. 
the top part of each document where hat j is listed as defendant you know let me let me scroll back to that sheet of paper let's go to page one right here where it just says the defendant heather antucci giraffe okay that that part this paper was made by Francis, and it's included as part of his certificate of service. This is not a change that Heather made. So we're going to get a little bit more verbiage on just how limited and scarce resources are for Heather. Um, Francis cannot go in and give her his computer to use. She cannot have one of her own. All the documents that she is creating, let's go back to page 20. Hmm. I guess that doesn't go decrement. Let's try page 19. Oh, it's loading. Okay, there we are. Okay, all of the documents she is creating are done with sheets, formatted by us, and then the balance is left blank. Heather only has a short golf pencil to write all of these documents, and rarely a pencil sharpener. When we get the docs picked up by Francis, they are scanned in and laboriously have the pale pencil darkened so that they are legible. This is part of what people think is their justice system at work in search of truth, honor, and the American way. Big hugs to you, BZ. Well, thanks for that email, BZ. Big hugs back to you. So this, you know, I was commenting on, uh, on how dark this was, and was this in pencil, or was this done in marker? And, you know, we had even zoomed in a little bit, and... Now we know that this is golf pencil and it was scanned in and, you know, contrast, brightness, darkness, all that stuff was adjusted to make it legible. This is, this is teamwork. So certificate of notice, just, I mean, so much effort went into just these words. Any, anything that's written in pencil, uh, it went through a whole network just so that your ears could be hearing this. <clears throat> Certificate of notice. I certify on February 21st, 2018, a true accurate and complete scan of the foregoing original was made and caused to be electronically filed. Notice of this filing will be sent by operation of the alleged court's electronic filing system to all alleged parties indicated on the electronic filing receipt. Alleged parties may access this filing by said electronic system. February 21st, 2018, signed Heather Antucci Giraffe, printed original Heather Antucci Giraffe. And then a certificate of service from William Thomas Ferguson III pretty much the same verbiage. Another thumbprint and initials. And that that rounds us out for document 146. I'll be back in another video for documents uh, 147 through what well, the rest of them. And you know what? There's even more documents out there now. So uh, Looks like I got, I got a few more videos to make, and we're looking forward to the transcripts from the trial. Uh, there's been some questions posed about that in emails and also in the comments section. Uh, my understanding is that uh, you know, people were asking if Heather's uh, got the transcripts or if she has the, the rights to them. Uh, and... <laughs> it, it's interesting I can say yes she has the rights to them but there there are barriers that are in between seeing these transcripts uh, 
to the light of day and that's about a six thousand dollar price tag estimate right now uh, I don't know how many pages are in this transcript but when uh, months ago when when we were looking through transcript I happened to look through the pricing structure uh, through the court systems and getting transactions printed out or excuse me transcripts printed out and there are uh, the, the fee structure is done uh, per page and uh, it's also done you know if you want it done uh, within so many days uh, after the trial um, you know as soon as it's ready uh, you have to pay all these rush fees on top of it and uh, you add all of these up and it's going to be about six thousand dollars that blows my mind to to have uh, what's supposed to be a verbatim transcript of we could all have been listening live with the technology we have today. There is a lot of effort that has been put in place to make sure that what happened in that courtroom and what happens in any courtroom is really held back from the light of day from all of your eyes. Uh, even though they say you've got the rights to it and it's public information, there's some hefty price tags. I, I mean, how many people would read that if it was a $6,000 book on Amazon that you had to buy? How many people would, how many people would buy a $6,000 textbook just for one of their college classes? I mean, I remember spending hundreds of dollars on certain books, but $6,000 for transcripts when it would be easy enough to give everybody a clear, accurate, electronic, at least an audio record, if not an audio and video record. We could all watch it live. We could all have copies on our computer right now, and we could all make observations. But they don't want us doing that, and that's really telling. So I'll just leave it at that right now. If you got any emails, comments, questions, send them to lunacy at protonmail.com. We'll be back really soon. I love you guys a lot. Bye-bye.